हेलो इंटरनेट वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो वेयर वी डिस्कस कांस्टेंट के टाइप बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर दिस इज फोर्थ इन द सीरीज ऑफ कांस्टेंट के टाइप फिल्टर्स नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्फिगरेशंस ऑफ द बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर्स देयर डिजाइन पैरामीटर्स देयर फार्मूलास please understand this is not a video on the analysis of band stop filter if you wish to study the analysis of the video this is this video is not for you and if you uh, wish to see a video uh, on a ready reckoner to solve the numericals based on band stop filter then this video is for you a constant k band stop filter is made up of uh, components l and c and it it is a two port network it has two configurations t configuration and pi configuration the way i remember the configurations of band stop filter is that the elements in series arm are connected in shunt and the elements in shunt arm are connected in series now this is exactly the opposite of what we do in the band pass filter if you have watched my previous video we know that element elements in series arm are series and elements in shunt arm are sh shunt in band pass filter but here it is going to be the opposite so how do you design this for t configuration you'll need to put both the elements l and c but they'll need to be in shunt like this and in the shunt arm you'll need to place both the elements but they'll be in series and for pi configuration you need to put both the elements but in shunt for series arm and in shunt arms you'll put both the elements in series then total inductance in series arm needs to be l1 and capacitor in series arm needs to be c1 inductance in shunt arm needs to be l2 and capacitance in shunt arm needs to be c2 and that can be achieved if we put an l1 here c1 here twice of l2 here twice of l2 here half of c2 here and half of c2 here and this will be achieved here by putting half of l1 here and half of l1 here twice of c1 here twice of c1 here and l2 and c2 here the rational is pretty simple as we discussed in the previous video and the characteristics of band stop filter are opposite of that of the band pass filter for the cut off frequencies fc1 and fc2 this filter will offer infinite attenuation so this will be the stop band for the band stop filter and from 0 to fc1 it will pass the signal and from fc2 onwards it will pass the signal no problem but the fact of the matter is we've got two frequencies two cut off frequencies fc1 as the lower cut off frequency
FC2 as the higher cutoff frequency and then there is R0 or K which is the nominal design impedance so these are the parameters which which will be used to design a bandstop filter in both the configurations at times you you may be given the values of the cutoff frequencies and the design impedance and you'll need to find the values of l and c's uh, to be able to complete the design and if the values of l and c are, c's are given then you might be asked to find out the cutoff frequencies or the operational range of this filter now having said that let us uh, take up a numerical this numerical says that we need to design a prototype band stop filter and the cutoff frequencies are from 2000 hertz to 5000 hertz and the design resistance R0 or K is 600 ohms now you've been given the values of F1, FC1 and FC2 and the design impedance now you need to find the values of L1 C1, L2 and C2 if you know the formulas for these it will be no problem for you to design the filter so I will write down the formulas here this is the formula for L1 and for the formula of C1 it will be 1 upon 4 pi r naught f2 minus f1 l2 will be r naught upon 4 pi f2 minus f1 and c2 will be f2 minus f1 upon pi r naught f1 f2 now as you can see uh, you've got a set of formulas for L1, L2, C1, C2 for band stop filter and in the previous video we studied a set of formulas for L1, L2, C1, C2 for band pass filter so from solving numericals uh, we'll need to remember all these formulas for both the filters by heart so you need to find a mechanism of remembering them and substituting the values of uh, FC1 and FC2 into these formulas you will get the value of L1 to be equivalent to 57.32 millihenry as I discussed in the previous video the the standard notation of expressing inductance is in millihenries for filters and if you put the values of these parameters in the formula for C1 which will be 1 upon 4 pi into 600 which is the design resistance into 5000 minus 2000 you get the value of C1 and you need to express it in terms of uh, microfarad so it will be this and L2 comes out to be equivalent to 15.92 millihenry and C2 comes out to be equivalent to 159 microfarad now the solving part is not that difficult but now comes the part where we need to be a little careful uh, in putting the values of these L's and C's into this because if, if we were to make a 
T section for example then of course in the series arm we have two inductances and two capacitances so the value of L2 which needs to be put here can be put as it is and the value of C2 which needs to be put here can be put as it is but the value of L1 needs to be modified and we need to put L1 by 2 here because the total inductance should sum up to be L1 so we need to put half of L1 here which becomes 28.648 milli henry and 28.648 milli henry here and we need to put twice of C1 here so this will be 0 0.088 microfarad and 0 0.0 8, 8 microfarad here so a little bit of care is needed here to put these values here and similarly for the pi configuration in the shunt arm we need to double the value of L2 and put it there and we need to half the value of C2 and put in the shunt arm so that is how you can design a band stock filter by using this ready reckoner of a formula and I hope this tutorial on band stock filters was of help and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you like the contents of the playlist then consider subscribing to the channel you have a great day ahead I'll see you around bye